So today I want to show you guys how to take a pre-fold and turn it into a contour diaper. So first you want to lay your pre-fold down on the floor, get a fabric marker. Mine is kind of, <laughs> it's kind of drying out, but that's okay. But I just kind of did like four fingers. You can also cut these diagonal, but I just chose to do mine straight. So you want to draw the four straight lines on the tabs and then get your scissors, preferably fabric scissors because they will work best. You can use the regular scissors, but it'll be harder to cut. And you just want to cut on the lines that you made for the tabs. You just want to go around and just cut all four tabs out. And you want to make sure that you don't cut too far in so you don't cut the stitch line for the thickest section the thickest section in the middle. <laughs> and once you have that done, you can leave it like this and use it like this with the raw edges exposed. It might not last as long, but it will work. So then you just fold in the large side tab sections and then wrap it onto baby and get your snappy and then you're good to go and use it. If you want to take it a step further and make it a little more neater, you can do a straight stitch on all eight of the raw edges that you made when you cut the tabs. And I will show you how to do that in this next clip. And it is super easy. I just did a regular straight stitch and I made sure to back stitch the front and in sections of the straight stitch. And you want to make sure that you clip all of the excess string and see how I went and just did a straight stitch around the raw edges so that it sealed it up. And now you just want to do all of the other raw edges. And you want to make sure that you always backstitch the very end of your stitch lines so that it stays together. And now that we have all eight of the raw edges straight stitched, this is what it looks like. And it should hold up better than if you just leave the raw edges undone. So then you can just fold in the large side sections and then put it onto baby. And then put your snappy on or your boingo and you're good to go. Just like that. This makes it super easy for people who are intimidated by pre-folds. If you want to take it another step further, you can surge around the edges of the tabs like I did here and then you can also stitch down the middle with a serger to kind of give it like that extra padding in the middle and you can also it'll make a pocket so you can put an insert in and the way I did this was I took the part with the tab and I made sure that the label tag was facing up <laughs> I'm struggling to pull it through <laughs> And you just want to have the tag facing upward and then you take your side tabs and fold them in so that the ends are, are touching like the longest ends are touching and then you just search straight up that after you finish searching all of the tab raw edges and then you're pretty much done and then you can flip it back through 
and now you have a pocket so you can add inserts if you want and if you don't need to add inserts then you just have another absorbent layer in the middle. If you want to take it another step further and make it into a fitted you can totally do that as well and I'm gonna explain that to you in this next part. So what you can do if you want to take it a step further and make it into a fitted from a pre-fold is you can just add straight stitches on the edges so that you can add in elastic and then you can just add some snaps. You can do one, two rows of snaps across the front panel and then you could just put snaps on the wing tabs and there you go. You have an easy fitted. And this honestly did not take that long. It took me maybe 5-10 minutes to do the whole process. I hope you enjoyed this video.